my whole life I've always had some kind of action sports equipment. My my friends in like first grade and kindergarten all came to show and tell with like their new like action figures and shit like that. And I used to get jealous. I'd be like, I don't get any toys, but it's like I actually had the coolest toys ever. They were just a lot bigger and they made me go a lot faster. When we moved to Seattle, I started longboarding at that point. And with longboarding, longboarding was super easy for me to do. I didn't need my parents to drive me to the mountain or anything. I could just like grab my board and go. And it was free and as long as my legs were up to it, as long as I could walk back up the hill or whatever, I could keep skating. And I think that's where most of my skill came from, is just practicing that same corner again and again and again and again and again all day. You know, I was new in high school. I came out from, from eighth grade in Philadelphia to freshman year in Seattle. I've been to like 10 different schools at that point. And at that point, I was just like, I'm done. Like, I'm not gonna try and make friends. I'm not gonna try and do this, all this crappy bullshit. I'm just gonna go ride my skateboard, and my skateboard was my friend, and that's all I did. My parents always supported me as long as I took care of my other business. I was a terrible student. I was a terrible high school student. I never, have not given a shit about school since kindergarten. And I have always gotten bad grades my entire life. So that's just how that was. And the only reason they were like, Max, stop skateboarding so much is because I have bad grades and it wasn't helping. You know, it was just like something for me to do that was not school. The Junior World Championships were being held at my home track. I knew the track very well. Uh, I had studied it, I'd hiked it a hundred times at least. And everyone's like, stop hyping yourself up. You're gonna like set yourself up for disappointment. And I was like, no I'm not, I'm gonna win this. And I went out there and I just like destroyed everybody. And I won the Junior World Championships. And that was, to, to this day, like the biggest accomplishment of my life. My dad, who's like a total hard ass, my dad is like not, an emotional guy or anything like that, but like my dad just like was lost it. He was like in tears, crying. I also started crying. After winning the Junior World Championships, uh, that's kind of when sponsorship opportunities started rolling in. Yeah. In 2013, I ended up at seventh in the world. Um, 2015, my best ranking was 10th in the world, and I won three races last season. I had been traveling around the world racing and I was accepted and welcomed by people all over the world. And coming into my first year of college, I think that was like a huge advantage to me, is just feeling accepted and confident of who I was as a person. Right now I'm in my third year of advertising and public relations at RIT. Uh, I chose to study this major because advertising is something I'm still passionate about. I love to write, I love to publish and produce content. So for 2016, I'm gonna be focusing on uh, an internship, hopefully, in content marketing or brand strategy. Um, gonna be taking racing a little bit less seriously, but I'm still gonna try and hit as many East Coast events as I can while I'm out here. But skateboarding is priority number two right now. Professional career, number one. I have had this self-identity that came with longboarding and like uh, a reason to be alive, so to speak. It's like every morning I wake up and it's like, all right, I wanna practice this, I wanna get better at this, I wanna do this, or like I just wanna skate because I love it. With racing, you can always be faster. There's no way you can ever have a perfect run. There's no way you can ever be the fastest ever, you know? It's always, it's like this quest for the top of a pyramid that you will never reach, you know? It's, and that's what makes it so exciting to me.